I had this very strange dream about time travel, but I don't exactly remember what happened. All I know is there was time travel, which is weird. Anyways, uh, awkward cut to intro. Good morning, shiners and possibly shaders. Due to the early time I went to bed, I actually woke up quite early compared to other days. So it's like seven, eight, or nine, or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of strange. It's one of the earliest times I've been up in a while since we got back from Italy, with the exception of the first couple days. That actually hasn't been that long. Never mind. Awkward cat. Okay, I know I'm randomly filming the ceiling right now, but I'm trying to figure out what the little black smudges or lines are. I say little because um, if I zoom back out, they go away. Could they be like cracks in the lens that you can only see when you zoom in? I don't know, but I think it's time to exchange this camera for a new one. I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while. Get some exercise. Yeah. Uh, today, instead of ordering takeout and being lazy or having a hot pocket, I'm going to walk to the convenience store, something I haven't done all week, and uh, get some lunch there, and then walk back. Maybe I'll go to Live and get a haircut. Possibly not. I don't know. It's in the same area, so. And I gotta make sure I have everything I need. So I need to find a garage door opener. Awkward cat. Well, it looks like I'm going in and out the side door because I don't know where my garage door opener went. It might have been in the backpack that I bought, brought to the uh, bonfire. Didn't burn the backpack, I gave it to Zarek, so I'll talk to him, see if it's in the pocket of that backpack. <laughs> ah! <laughs> see, that bug just flew in my mouth. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was gross. Ah! That was... Ah! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Awkward cut. Okay, as I was saying before, I was so awkwardly, uh... The uh, almost swallowed a bug. That was, eh, gross. Hope there wasn't a fly. Those things landed on most disgusting things ever, like poop and vomit and trash. Anyways, uh, so I'll have to find that. It's probably just in my room, which I need to clean up, or in like another pants pocket or something. Uh, but yeah, I have no clue why it's even worth talking about. But since I started, I had to finish. That's what she said. Awkward cut. So I took a shower because I realized, oh yeah, dried lake water is still over me. That's disgusting. And now to uh, enjoy the fruits of my labored walk all the way to the convenience store and back. <sighs> yes, I know Pineapple Fanta has a lot of high fructose corn syrup. It's still one of my favorite sodas. Followed by Moxie, followed by Foreign Fanta. Awkward cut. So now we're heading to Christopher's 3rd Street Grill, unless I can convince us to go to Newington instead, uh, for dinner. Awkward. So, uh, me and Sam were just watching Supernatural, and it's an episode where they go back in time to the Wild West, and, uh, one of my favorite lines was just made. Um, basically, Dean says, you, you go on ahead and look for Samuel Cold. I'll stay here and hook up with the posse. You know me. I'm a posse magnet. Get it? <laughs> My other favorite line, I believe, is uh, Samuel, um, what's his last name, Sam? Campbell. Samuel Campbell um, says, is this, what you, is this what you boys do all day? Watch porno with angels? Do. It's just oh. Do. Whatever. Mess up the quote, but basically those are my two favorite quotes from... <laughs> Supernatural and the posse magnet one was hilarious. <laughs> it's really funny because it takes you a second to get the joke out of it. 
But yes, they totally just said that. That was awesome and funny. Awkward. So I have this really bad habit. Whenever there is a really big decision, sometimes minor decisions, but mainly with the big ones, if the decision is not set in stone, like there's not an immediate result to my decision, I got an email. That's not important right now. Anyways, um, then I always flip-flop on the issue. Like I go, well, this is what I want to do. No, this is what I want to do. No, this is what I want to do. For example, Yavna or NYFA, that whole predicament, which, by the way, AMP, neither of the two. Um, anyways, uh, so basically, the reason I bring this up is because Almost all of the colleges I'm looking at, there's a few in California, and there's my safety school somewhere in New Hampshire, um, but most of them are in Florida. And a lot of the Florida film schools, or well, colleges in general, have a very high out-of-state tuition and a much cheaper in-state tuition. And my grandparents live in Florida, so my dad made the suggestion Maybe I should spend my senior year of high school in Florida, live with my grandparents, go to a school near them, and then become a uh, Floridian resident and actually like be a resident of Florida to get the in-state tuition granted I get into one of these schools. And initially I'm like, no, I'll miss my friends. I like the teachers at Dover, all this kind of stuff, like basically excuses because it actually could potentially be a better thing. Not saying that either school district is better, I'm just saying it could lead to more opportunity because though it's not LA, it still is a sub-center of the film industry with uh, all the studios down there. Anyways, uh, so I'm like pondering upon it. Even um, after somebody on Facebook said, well, I mean, the internet and planes exist, so it's not like you're completely cut off from your friends here in Dover, or in New Hampshire in general. Um, so I'm actually not exactly sure, since nothing is completely set in stone in my mind until the first day of school. I mean, after that it can still change, but once school starts, I'm not switching schools. So I really, really, really do not know whether or not I should have my senior year of high school, I think I said year, I'm not redoing this clip, um, my senior year of high school, if it should be in Dover or in Florida. I'm not going to say the city of Florida just yet until I actually move there. Anyways, if I move there. So I'm like, I'm really not sure on this. I'm very indecisive, as I previously mentioned. I mean... In Florida, I never have to wear anything uh, wintry because I'm from a colder state, so cold for Florida is like bombing 70 degrees here in New Hampshire. I'm not saying 70 is cold, though I think they consider like 70 and below cold. Anyways, um, so unless I go skiing in Utah, I don't really need like a winter coat or long pants. Uh, so, I mean... That would be like a plus. Uh, my vlog would have everything to do with Florida instead of nothing to do with Florida. And uh, I would have to make all new friends while still being connected to my other friends through like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube. I have way too many connections to the internet. Not the point. Um, so I mean those are the pros, but then the cons, I mean, are... I won't be able to physically see my friends except for vacations, which Florida's a vacation spot, so I don't really know if I'd actually go anywhere for vacation since I'm in a vacation spot. So I don't really know. And oftentimes when I give this pros or cons kind of thing, there are often more pros and cons for one option, but I'm still really indecisive. And I just wanted to say this to the vlog, so when I'm looking back on this in several years, I can say, oh, so that's when I made the decision, or well, when I was pondering the decision that changed my whole life, or, well, could change my whole life. I don't really know. It's all up in the air now. I mean, the future's not determined. Or is it? I'm not discussing predetermination right now. Anyways, or fate, or anything like that. Anyways, so like, 
I'm trying to decide, but I honestly don't know. Originally, I was like, I am not going to Florida. I have too many, like, social connections to the community here in Dover slash Portsmouth or Rochester, New Hampshire in general. I'm not going to move completely. I mean, I'll go to Florida for vacations, but I'm not going to move completely to Florida. But as I thought about it, it became an increasingly appealing choice. So I know within this conversation, I've actually flip-flopped back and forth when I'm describing each place. So I really don't know, and this clip has been long enough. I will let you know if I ever actually make a concrete decision. In the meantime, you can just check my Twitter, because I'll probably be indecisively deciding back and forth on the issue over Twitter, because, well, Facebook too, but not my... Sunshine Shade Facebook. Awkward cut. It's 1 in the morning. 101 in the morning. It's my brother's birthday since it's the uh, 6th. I'll wish him happy birthday when I wake up. Good night. Who's ever watching this? See you tomorrow. I won't see you, but you will see me. Awkward cut to outro. There's a vlog on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's Sunshine Shade. Well, I won't see you, you will see me.